We believe your husband's partner was murdered. What? Let's all stop playing this game, shall we? The lying, the running, aren't you both tired? Welcome back everyone, Matthew here with Cinegold, and today I'm bringing you the top 10 Netflix original series. This is my first series related video, so if you find it helpful or enjoyable, don't forget to hit the like button. All right, let's get started. It's important that you realize there is a small medical procedure involved. Sorry for a game. Number 10, Black Mirror. Starting off our list with what's been one of the most popular series on Netflix, Black Mirror is a modern day spin on the tried and true Twilight Zone formula. Making use of standalone episodes with big twist endings, Black Mirror has a heavy emphasis on technology and enjoys playing with our paranoias about an ever-changing high-tech world. The various episodes are loaded with well-known and talented actors. The reason I'm here is to introduce to you Ashley too. If you've yet to check out this series, you need only to check out the infamous first episode which asked the age-old question would you um spend the night with a pig on national television in order to save someone's life number nine kingdom Kingdom is a Korean zombie series taking place in the 16th century Joseon dynasty. So yeah, obviously the zombies are awesome, but there's also a thick layer of political intrigue added over the top that makes this series completely mesmerizing. I really don't want to understate how entertaining this show can be. It's great for people who love The Walking Dead and being the first Korean series on Netflix, its success paved the way for future juggernaut Squid Game. I definitely think it's worth checking out a few episodes of this show as it's really a lot better than you'd think. I need your help, Matthew. You're the only person I can trust. Oh, sweetheart, you don't break into my house and then talk to me about trust. Number eight, Daredevil. Daredevil was the first Netflix series to take place in the Marvel Universe. The story follows blind lawyer Matt Murdock, who takes to the streets at night as Daredevil in order to fight for Justice Vigilante style. The series was a massive hit right out of the gate and opened the doors to successive superhero shows such as Jessica Jones and The Punisher. Honestly, you really don't even have to be a big superhero fan to get into the show, just a fan of good action and adventure. The show really raised the bar for the type of production values viewers can expect out of a series and to top that off with some jaw-dropping action scenes. Daredevil became an early Netflix favorite. Relax. Why do I have this feeling we both know that you'd be better off dead? Number seven, Ozark. Ozark is a crime drama series starring the always amazing Jason Bateman. Bateman plays Marty Bird, who moves his family to the Lake of the Ozarks in Missouri in order to set up a money laundering operation, which he uses to pay off a drug lord. Ozark always reminded me a lot of Breaking Bad, although admittedly not as good as that all-time classic. They're both about seemingly normal families deeply dug into the world of crime, where they try to live out normal lives, but find it not so easy. Ozark can be pretty addictive and is perfect for a long staycation binge. It's got its ups and downs, but I think most viewers end up getting pretty hooked. My name is Elizabeth. And long live Queen Elizabeth. Number six, The Crown. The Crown is a historical drama chronicling the life of Queen Elizabeth II. It's also a powerful series that, while based in fact, does take some pretty big liberties with the story. The show is addictive in the best way and is pretty close to playing out like a true life Game of Thrones. I will not kneel before my wife. Your wife is not asking you to. But my queen commands me. Yes. I beg you make an exception for me. No. Obviously, this is about a grand subject and the lavish sets and breathtaking acting give the series the ambitious scope it deserves. If you're not the type of person to be bothered by a few inaccuracies here and there, The Crown might be the binge-worthy series you've been searching for. Wow! Wow! Guys, I really think we should turn back. Did you guys hear that? <laughs> Number five, Stranger Things. The science fiction slash horror series set in the 1980s centers around a group of kids searching for their missing friend and the numerous bizarre occurrences happening around their small town. When Stranger Things was first announced, it looked like this cool little piece that might be attractive to nostalgia nerds or fans of early Spielberg. Something hungry for blood. What is it? The Demogorgon! <laughs> We're in deep 
shit. <laughs> but who could have foreseen the monster the show would become? The now record-breaking series currently in its fourth season, Netflix claims that the average viewer is hooked by only the second episode. So if you're one of the five people still on the fence about checking out the show, throw on those first two episodes and see what all the fuss is about. I am Uhtred of Bevanban, I shall take what is mine! Bevanban's mine! Number 4, The Last Kingdom. Without a doubt, one of the most underrated series on Netflix, The Last Kingdom is about a boy who is raised by Vikings and he grows up and vows to reclaim the life and home that were taken from him as a small boy. The show is based on a series of novels called The Saxon Stories, and while originally airing on BBC, it was later acquired by Netflix. It is my hope that all kingdoms will become one, united under one god. One king. Yes. This is a series that came out of the whole let's find the next Game of Thrones that every network seemed to be shooting for for a while, and honestly, they still are. There's a lot of similarities between this series and Thrones, and I think fans of that series, as well as History Channel's Vikings, will find a lot to love in The Last Kingdom. When du Mikkel jetzt zurückbringst, dann greifst du in den Lauf der Dinge ein. Dein Vater lernt deine Mutter nicht kennen, sie verlieben sich nicht, sie heiraten nicht, und du, du wirst nicht geboren. Number three, Dark. Children start to go missing in a small German town where its troubled past is brought to the forefront. Dark blends sci-fi with mystery and horror, and the story is definitely a trip hopping back and forth in time from the present to the 80s. If any of this sounds familiar, you'd be right. There's a lot of Stranger Things in Dark, but whereas Stranger Things can definitely be appealing to a young adult crowd, Dark is a little bit heavier, a little deeper. The show just gets better and better the further you go, and personally, this is one of my favorite Netflix series ever. Mind-bending, beautiful, and Dark, this series belongs near the top. Yo soy Pablo Emilio Escobar Gaviria. Haciendo negocios, así que pues fresco. Ustedes eligen plata o plomo. Number two, Narcos. This Colombian set series chronicles the rise of Pablo Escobar and his gargantuan drug empire. Narcos is an addictive true story and is all the more interesting due to the use of archival footage that is interlaced throughout the episode. Narcos really starts to hit his stride around the second season and patient viewers are rewarded with one of the most thrilling series this side of Breaking Bad. It's worthy to highlight the phenomenal performance of Wagner Mora as Escobar for which he would be nominated for two Golden Globes. Su actitud de superioridad. Oh, Pacho. Que no lo vayan a quebrar por eso. With three full seasons and an excellent spin-off called Narcos Mexico, there's plenty here to keep you hooked for a while. Before we get to number one, make sure to subscribe to Cinegold if you love movies and series and want to get more weekly recommendations. If you found this video helpful, please be sure to let me know by hitting the like button below. I knew a week before she died I was gonna kill her. So I got a claw hammer and I beat her to death. Then I cut her head off. Number one. Mindhunter. The David Fincher directed crime thriller shows FBI agents as they aim to catch serial killers by getting inside their heads. The two seasons of Mindhunter have received near universal acclaim by audiences and critics alike. Unfortunately, the series has been on hold for a few years while Fincher works on some other projects, but the superb quality of the episodes that have already been released is enough to consider this the best series on Netflix. Mindhunter stands out from the typical cop drama with its incredible movie-like production values and Fincher's exceptional eye for visuals. One of the most absorbing modern series you can find, Mindhunter is can't miss material. That's all for me today, folks. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time.